Hello again, friends. So the build of the Greninja deck took a while. Um, so we are splitting this into two different videos just so it's a little cleaner. <clears throat> so you guys can kind of skip around, you know, see what the final deck is. And uh, I might, you know, I might just have a, a, I'll probably have in the description of each video what the deck ended up being. As well as in the battle video, I'll end up going against. I'll go. Be, I'll end up going into it as well, and uh, have them laid out in the description. So, like the other one, what I initially did for this, I already split it into you know trainers, uh, normal types, grass types, fire types, water types. Which ooh, there we go, and. Uh, no electric types in this one. That we have fighting types up the wazoo and a gibble. I feel like this one had everything that the other one was missing. And psychic cups, psychic types, sorry, like crazy. Uh, dark and a metal energy and a couple dragons like Guja Gumi and Ultra Necrozma and then Flabebe. But we're probably not going to use Flabebe. So we'll just go ahead and put that aside initially. Now Pangoro we could possibly use because I do believe we have a Pancham. We did not get a Pancham actually. So that is a card we can't use. As well as Metal Energy we might include in the deck simply because of Ultra Necrozma. But other than that, uh, maybe not. I uh, don't know about you yes yet. Uh, but we'll go through each of these and see like what makes sense, what doesn't. Uh, we have breaks in Fennekin, um, an evolution line, but trying to find an individual evolution line is kind of difficult. Skidoo, Execute, Go-Go, Go-Go, maybe, but Execute, no. Um, there might be good type coverage there for like Zygards, but who knows. Um, there's nothing much we can do with our water types either. You got two Froakies, which the other deck would have preferred, but not much we can do with that. Um, Noibat, not a lot of items are going to be played, so not really useful. Bundle B, collect, there's no Diggers B to evolve into, so it's not useful. And Return Furfru, it's pretty much useful anywhere. But let's take a look at our, our trainers and see what they kind of direct us in the direction of. Deanthe, uh, you can only play this card if you have one of your Fairy Pokemon knocked out during your last turn. Put two cards from your discard pile in your hand. Amazing effect. But we're not going to be playing any fairies, so we can't really use Deanthe. Pokemon 2 cards in play, both yours and your Pokemon have no effects. So Lysander Labs, maybe. Unidentified Fossil, 60 HP basic. Um, it depends if we end up evolving into any non-basic fossil types. So it's like, do we have Tyrantrum? Do we have Tyrant? Uh, do we have uh, Amorus? It looks like we have none of that. Do we have Tyrantrum? Because, I mean, it might be just a, a maybe card. I mean, we can discard it. We do not have Tyrantrum either. So that's going to be a, a maybe card, I think. We'll put that in this pile. And Fossil Excavation goes with it. Ultra Space, we can use to get out our Ultra Necrozma. Mysterious Treasure is what? Well. We got two of them? Jeez. Wow, that's a lot. Nest Ball, Timer Ball, Judge. So it's telling us, you know, dragons and psychic types. And Lysander Lab says no tools. So, I mean, that's really what our thing is telling us to go into, is Mysterious Treasures, Dragon Psychic Types. It's like an Ultra Ball, right? Um, so, with that, let's go ahead and see what we have for Psychic Types. We have a couple Hone Edge and a Dua Blade. Actually, considering... Let's go through our Fighting Types and pull out whatever sounds interesting. Like... <laughs> like a 3-1 Lycanroc line. I don't think we're going to do 3-1, but we might do 2-1. Toxicroak has that ability if Psychic types get knocked out. Gibble Cubone aren't very useful in this matchup. Uh, Toxicroak might be if... Uh, I wouldn't play a 4-2, though. Maybe a 3-2. Exact Revenge, I don't think I'd ever use Poison Jab, but Exact Revenge might be good. So maybe we'll have that set aside, those five cards. I don't think I'm going to use Lycanroc here. I love its attack, um, but I'm not going to be playing any fighting energy, so it's not really going to help. Which means I'm probably going to throw out Go Goat Skidoo as well. It looks like there's plenty of cards here, and I can't evolve Gudra, so I can't really use him either. So it looks like we're starting with Ultra Necrozma 
has the base. I'm going to throw a mental energy, probably a couple of mental energies for that. And we're going to be playing a lot of psychic energy because we are going to be playing this Malamar and the other one we play, pulled and the two Inke. Uh, so how many cards is that so far? Let's just go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five... Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So we have half our deck already, and that's a good thing. We have half our deck already. Um, so we really only need to find one more card here, and throw in the Toxic Croak line, and throw energies in, and that would be good enough, I'd say. That'd probably be good enough for the entire deck. Um... So some decks build easier than others. But what do we have here? You know, let's go over our psychic types. A couple of Hone Edge and a Dewblade. Uh, four Mez Spirits. Um, three Uxies. A three Espers and a Meowstic. Meowstic's attack, that psychic, is pretty good. 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. If most things attack for two uh, energy, that's going to be a 60 damage plus the 30. That's going to be 90 damage. Uh, which is not bad. Uh, if things attack for one, it's 60 damage, which is also not bad for two energy. So, I mean, Meostic looks useful. Um, but we, I don't think we need a 3-1. Maybe a 2-1 line? Uh, or we could just add one card. That's good. Um, I don't think I, I'll have to pull the Mess Spirit Uxie tricks on this one. You know, 70 damage for two. Meostic can do that a little bit better. Well, four and three, though, that's a thick... That's thick if you guys want to do that way. Um, you definitely always be attacking with Mess Spirit and Uxi for that 70 damage, vanilla 70. Um, but I feel more inclined to play Toxicroak and Meowstic. So we have 19 there, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 13 energy? It's not enough. Uh, I would put more energy in. So maybe we go... Actually, why don't we just scrap it and just do the Toxic Hook. I think that's the right choice. Have more energy to do better. Miasic is an interesting tech, though. It can really do some numbers. It can do 90 if something... 90 plus, It can do 120 if somebody has 3 energies on them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 16 energies. See, I almost wish... Uh, I want 2 more. Yeah, I guess I do a 1-1. One, one. I think that's the right choice, I guess. This is 1-1 one, one line. For 14 energies, that makes the most sense to me. They're all going to be psychic energies. Well, there's going to be. Let's do three metal. Maybe 16 is right then. Yeah, we'll do. We already have a metal energy in there though. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Yeah, we'll make those two metals actually. Though it's just a little better. Psychic metal. Metal, and we'll throw four metals in there, actually. We want to keep it consistent, uh, which means 11 psychic energies. There's five. And uh, after five comes six, if it shows up. I got plenty of metal. There's six. Seven. This is why they uh, they organize them at stores, so you don't do in this. I don't even think I have another psychic energy in here, actually. There we go. Eight. Ugh. Too many cards in hand. Gotta switch up the direction I'm going in. No more psychic energy in there. Just one last stack. 
I know, crazy, right? How do I have this much energy? I don't even open the energy packs for the Elite Trainer boxes anymore. Oh, nice. There's another one. Nine. I think I'm only looking for one more, right? Ten. Let's count them. Let's count it up. I just want to make sure I do have a metal energy for that uh, Ultra Necrozma. Let's count it. See if we have 40 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. How am I three off? How many energies do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Yeah, there's two more energies, uh, I guess, in there. I'm supposed to have two more. 11, 12, I'm saying. 12 plus 4 is 16. That should be enough, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I do have a spot for one more. And we'll make it another metal energy. We definitely don't want to miss that metal attachment on... Uh, Necrozma. Although 40 cards, I think 4 is enough. Maybe I'll throw another second in instead. Yep, I think that's all she wrote. 40 and 40. And we will go ahead, get these things sleeved up. We'll get set up for a match. I'll probably have some kind of overhead mm, thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that just yet. Um, but we have our Greninja mascot, uh, which is going to be the mascot of a looks like a mez spirit malamar a straight malamar deck almost like it's a lot of a lot of malamars a lot of malamar a greninja deck versus a toxicroak malamar ultra necrozma deck So uh, there's that. Um, so kind of similar, I guess. But different. I didn't end up playing the Rogue. So there it is. Those are the decks versus each other. I'll have down in the description what this deck ended up being. And uh, I will go ahead and get started on the matches. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola. And I hope to see you on the next video. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.